next skill we're going to work on is mini tramp skills. Now, mini tramp is great because kids have a natural inclination to want to jump. So we use the mini tramp as a way of helping them develop some air sense so they can get control and learn how to use their body. First thing we're going to do is call the tuck jump. All right, for mighty mice, we want them to jump off, pick up their knees in a tuck position, and touch their knees. Okay, show me, coach. Three, jump. One, two, three. Tuck jump. All right, good. Let's do that one more time, please. Okay. All right, tuck jump. One, two, three. Tuck jump. Okay, now the spot, we want to make sure, hold on one second, that we have both sides of them covered. Because little kids who are working on getting control of their body sometimes can lose control. And we want to make sure that we keep accidents from happening. If a kid falls and hurts themselves, it could really turn them off from wanting to try new things. So when we spot mini trampoline, we spot it this way. Make sure that you're in what we call the ready ready position. Feet apart, shoulder width apart, knees bent, arms out this way so in case they fall backwards, you catch them here, or if they fall forward, you can catch them falling on their face. All right, and we spot the tuck jump. Go. One, two, three. Tuck jump, two. All right, let's try again. All right, here we go. One, two, all right. Again, you're able to move. You need the bend. It's, if the ready position is any type of athletic sports position, when you're ready to move, your knees are bent. That way, you can be, you can move real quick and be ready and anticipate. You can see how they're bouncing and tell whether they're going to be jumping real far or just right. And that way, you'll be able to make sure that they have a positive experience, and thus they'll be motivated to want to try new things. Now we're going to try straddle jumps. Now, when you straddle jump, you open your legs real wide and close. And I'm in a position right now where I might be uh, subject to get kicked. So you got to be a little bit careful, but you still have to make sure that you're covering both sides of the, of the, of the uh, participant. Go. One, two, three. Straddle jump. Boom. All right. Good. All right. Again. You can get behind them a little bit like this. Go. One, two, three. Straddle. All right. Well, you can get on the other side. But make sure that you got your arms out. That way you can not necessarily keep them from touching the floor, but you can break their fall so they don't fall on their face or have a, a, ni a nice big crash. One more time, Coach. One, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. All right. Thank you very much. Now, we'll do the half turn next. All right. Pretty easy. Jump half turn. This, is, this one, where they do the half turn, and you got to be really ready to catch it this way because Sometimes they'll lose their balance and they'll fall back. And if they're not prepared, they could, you know, fall on their bottom and, and jerk themselves and have what we call that whiplash effect. All right, go. One, two, three. Oh, oh. You're catching them coming back. One more time. One, two, three. Okay. And that's our mini trampoline. Thank you very much.